The Crocodile Dundee of physics, Stephen Crothers, is back with us today to speak about the escape velocity of black holes. Is it any wonder that some of us believe that physics has lost its way? Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Today's topic is the escape velocity of a black hole. But first we have to understand the meaning and derivation of escape velocity according to Newton's theory of gravity. It is in fact from Newton's theory that the black hole acquires its escape velocity, not from Einstein's general theory of relativity. This in itself indicates that black hole escape velocity is meaningless. If you throw a ball into the air, it certainly leaves the surface of Earth, then falls back. If you propel it with a sufficiently high velocity, it will leave and never come back. Escape velocity is a two-body relation and does not mean that nothing can leave, only that a body will not escape from another unless it leaves with a sufficiently great velocity. If nothing can even leave, there is no escape velocity, because leaving is a prerequisite for escaping. The minimum velocity required to escape is the escape velocity. Now, recall that the expression for Newton's force of gravity is given by this equation, which is a two-body relation. If a body of mass little m leaves the surface of a body of mass big M at the escape velocity, the initial kinetic energy is completely transformed into gravitational potential energy. Mathematically, this is stated by Newton's theory in this relation. Evaluating these integrals, we find the escape velocity from the body of mass big M is given by this equation, where big R is the radius of the mass big M and G is Newton's universal gravitational constant. Solving this equation for big R gives the following. According to cosmologists, the escape velocity at a black hole event horizon is the velocity of light C in vacuum, that is, approximately 300 million meters per second. Putting this into the Newtonian formula gives this equation, which is the value of the so-called Schwarzschild radius of a black hole, the distance from the black hole mass to its event horizon. All black hole equations, however, are expressions for a one-body universe, so black hole escape velocity is again quite meaningless. Nevertheless, cosmologists obtain black hole mass, escape velocity, and the associated Schwarzschild radius by inappropriately applying Newton's theory within Einstein's theory. This is revealed by the so-called Schwarzschild solution. By the way, this is not Schwarzschild's solution. Schwarzschild's solution does not in fact permit the black hole. Now by using Newtonian escape velocity, cosmologists assign the constant alpha this value and thereby obtain black hole escape velocity and the radius of an event horizon. So the modified Schwarzschild solution becomes the following. The use of Newtonian escape velocity also incorrectly assigns little r the identity of radius. It is actually neither the radius nor even a distance in this equation. Cosmologists then assert that since the escape velocity at a black hole event horizon is the velocity of light, nothing, including light, can either leave or escape. However, if the escape velocity at the event horizon is the velocity of light, and light travels at the velocity of light, then light must leave and escape, and massive bodies can always leave but not escape, constrained as they are by the velocity of light in vacuum. Cosmologists have a strange way of dealing with this contradiction. They give the event horizon two different escape velocities, simultaneously, 300 million meters per second and zero meters per second, and no escape velocity whatsoever. For light, cosmologists set the modified Schwarzschild solution equal to zero and the value of theta to zero as well to obtain this equation. Solving for their radial velocity dr dt, they write this equation, then giving little r the value of the Schwarzschild radius, they obtain the escape velocity at the event horizon and hence the velocity of light there by this equation. Note that the event horizon escape velocity c inside the right hand side of this equation is approximately 300 million meters per second, but event horizon escape velocity v is zero meters per second upon substitution of the Schwarzschild radius. So the escape velocity, and consequently the velocity of light, at the event horizon, 
is both approximately 300 million metres per second and 0 metres per second in the same equation, which is, of course, impossible in the real world. In relativity theory, the velocity of light, which no massive body can attain, is about 300 million metres per second, not zero. So if the escape velocity at the event horizon is zero, then anything with a velocity greater than zero must leave and escape. In summary, by inappropriate use of Newton's theory of gravity, cosmologists assign the black hole event horizon two different escape velocities and no escape velocities, respectively. But no material object has two different escape velocities and no escape velocity simultaneously at the same place. Mathematical details can be found in these papers. I hope you enjoyed discovering how black hole escape velocity is constructed by cosmologists in violation of the laws of physics. If you enjoyed this video, support Sky Scholar with a like, subscribe if you have not, and share the video with your friends and instructors. Comments are always welcome below, and we hope to see you soon in another video.